what's up guys so I saw it from another youtuber I follow and I've been seeing this a lot actually lately on uh, the internet particularly YouTube in general um, I guess there's been reddits and other things like that but anyway there's been a surge in this sort of phenomena uh, ever since you know fallout launched and um, essentially increasingly now more so since fallout 4 launched in november and the one thing about that is basically about how to make nuka cola the famous drink in the fallout series so i thought i would try it and essentially, to make it is pretty damn simple. Um, essentially, they just tell you to get one th to make one third Coca Cola, one third Mountain Dew, and one third cream soda. Now, I c it's you'd be actually surprised how hard cream soda actually is to track down. Um, I don't know if anybody else has that problem. Maybe it's because I went to Walmart. But, um, it, it, for some reason, cream soda is really hard to find, and particularly, um, the brand that I wanted, um, they didn't have, and I almost did think about going with A&W cream soda, but I didn't want to buy a full pack, and then I saw basically the knockoff Great Value brand, um, for like 84 cents, so I'm just like, fuck it. And no, I'm not promoting Walmart, and forgive me for having to spend my money there, but it's the closest place to me, and it's cheap. Um, but before I start anything, let me just first say, I'm not advertising for Coke, I'm not advertising for Pepsi. You'd also kind of think that the two of these going together, you know, cause some sort of chemical reaction. But, um, no. Um... I'm not really a big fan of Coke or Pepsi. I'm not really, I don't, this is going to sound controversial, but other than maybe a slight difference in the caramel sort of flavoring, I don't really taste much of a difference. But when it comes down to my soda products, I much prefer Mountain Dew. America. But anyway, um, we're basically just going to try it. And I have a big old, like, beer mug here and we're just gonna fucking dump it all into this shit so um fuck it let's see how this turns out so the first part they say is to add one third of coca cola let the bubbles die down That should roughly be about a third in my cup. I used about half the bottle here, but that's about a third in my cup. Next is one third Mountain Dew. And just pour the ambiance, and because I'm from, <clears throat> because I'm from the Napa Valley, <clears throat> and because I love it so damn much, I don't drink the whole thing, Nick. so fucking heavy right now. Alright. So, yeah. We got all that right there. I'm just mixing 
mix it up just a little bit. It really reminds me in the light. I don't know if you guys can see it there. Yeah, maybe a little bit. It reminds me a lot of like, like kind of like an like a Newcastle brown ale, to be honest. In this, I think it's because I put the cream soda on it why it tastes so creamy, but. Maybe I need to mix it up a little bit. <clears throat> yes, I'm going to use a pin, the the end of a pin. Bite me. It's really not that bad, actually. I've heard a lot of people have different experiences, uh, but most people say it's just basically kind of tastes like a creamy Coca-Cola sort of thing. And you'd really think that the Mountain Dew, you'd really think that the lime and the, like the limeade flavor of Mountain Dew would be more pungent in it, but it's really not. You can't even really taste the lemon lime in it. You can basically taste the coke. You can taste the. You can definitely taste the cream, but you don't really taste the lemon lime in that much. This is actually really good. I'm glad I did this. So, yeah, basically, if you guys, it's kind of like an amber. Almost makes me think of like an amber lager soda in a way. It's, um. I guess that's what we could call it. Uh, but yeah, if you want to make your own Nuka Cola, it's just that simple. One third Coca Cola, one third Mountain Dew, and um, one third cream soda. And um, I don't guess it really doesn't really matter what cream soda you take. I just used great value because it was cheap and. Yeah, just because that was the only real one I could find other than basically A&W and so Yeah, um, that's basically how you make it I guess and um, So if you guys want to go ahead and make your own feel free to and uh, I guarantee you I doubt you'll be, be that disappointed I think I'm gonna have this with lunch so yeah, this is the <laughs> this is basically the season 14 premiere of NorCal Corner. Yes, I'm back, and um, hopefully I might be able to start doing more videos again because this summer I'm gonna have some time in between work and stuff like that. So um, I hope to get back on shit again because man, it's just been it's been wild these last few months. But, uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm, uh, and by the way, next month, um, in just actually 33 more days, I will have my, my community strike will be up on YouTube. Hopefully I'll be able to do 15 plus minute videos again. And, um, things will basically return to a sense of normalcy around here. So, um, yeah, thanks guys, and thank you for being with me and having patience and cooperation these last few months. Um, you know, it's not been easy. Part of the reason also for the hiatus has been the community strike. So, um, shit just happens, and we, you know, are going into the next chapter of Corner uh, to the best that we can. So... Uh, I'm Norcal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and, um, cheers. Peace.